This is Star Wars Indiana with another episode of Star Wars Alternate History. Today's question is what if Star Wars was created in the late 1980s? I was asked by, I believe it was Darth Nikki, what would happen if Star Wars was created in a different decade. So I'm going to split this into two videos. One of them will come out in about five or six episodes, which will be based in the 1960s. Because I feel like the difference between the two decades could have very different effects on the outcome. So, let's look at the 1980s. What if Star Wars was created in the 1980s? So, the first thing we have to look at are other bl big blockbuster films that came out in the 1980s. And whether or not any of these could reasonably replace Star Wars. Now, some of the big ones that came out were Indiana Jones and E.T. Now, neither of these movies really have what it takes to take on the legacy of Star Wars. Indiana Jones also may not have existed if it weren't for Star Wars since George Lucas was one of the main producers in this film and his success in Star Wars may have propelled him a little bit to make the Indiana Jones film along with Spielberg. Now Indiana Jones may still exist but may be different since George Lucas may not have had as much to do with it and Spielberg may have had more influence but again this is all uncertain E.T. is very unlikely because compared to Star Wars it's one central story it doesn't really have a bigger universe and whatnot but one thing would be for sure if Star Wars was created 10 years later is there would be no Star Wars references found in E.T. which there are couple of references and there's a couple of references to E.T. in the prequel trilogy. Anyways, now are there any other big blockbuster films in the 1980s? Well, many other big blockbuster films in the 1980s are going to be influenced by Star Wars. These are going to be movies such as Aliens or Terminator or even ones coming out now. They're all influenced by Star Wars by this point. Lord of the Rings, any big movie coming out in the 1980s likely has a little bit of influence from Star Wars, whether it's from the production of the movies to the storyline of the movies or how the movie is produced. Star Wars changed the focus of movies to big blockbuster films. And, you know, Terminator is a sequence of movies. The Alien movies are a sequence of movies. They're all big blockbusters. So, these movies may not exist. And so, are there any other pre-existing universes that could replace Star Wars? Well, the big two that have caught on a lot would be Star Trek and Doctor Who. Doctor Who is really unlikely, especially in the U.S. at this time. Because as it does have a fan base, its fan base doesn't really grow much till 2005 when the reboot series comes out. And many new fans are able to be introduced to it. And by this time, Doctor Who is nearing its end run and the 7th Doctor is no longer playing. Okay, what's next? There's Star Trek. Well, Star Trek hasn't been rebooted to Next Generation yet, but they still have occasional movies coming out. And it's caught on with many fans. Star Trek will be most likely the one to take on, but the problem is there aren't. Star Trek doesn't necessarily engage people as much as Star Wars. It's it tells compelling stories, but its stories aren't compelling to the extent Star Wars, and they don't have the deep roots of good versus evil and whatnot that really makes the stories of Star Wars good. So, Star Trek would be most likely to take Star Wars place if for some reason there would be need for this place to be taken within these 10 years. Now, Star Wars is likely to have the same sort of feedback it did as when it came out in the 19, in late 1970s because the culture would not have changed too much between these two points. Any change in culture has been more political change and not necessarily cultural change. And any big cultural shifts you actually see would happen through Star Wars. 
Now, are there any other big things that occur? Well, there is one humongous thing that would change if Star Wars were not created in the late 70s. And this is a little company called Marvel. Marvel nearly went out of business in the late 70s because their comics were not selling at this point. So, what had to happen? Well, Star Wars brought Marvel out of its little funk it was having whenever they adopted comic series and Star Wars became a big hit. If Star Wars isn't released till 10 years later, Star Wars doesn't come along in Marvel's time of need and save them when they most need it. Marvel most likely goes out of business unless they find another business tactic, tactic to save themselves. So, Marvel no longer exists, likely. You don't get movies such as Captain America, The Avengers, Guardian of the Galaxy, or Ant-Man that we now see today. Therefore, the Marvel Cinematic Universe and any Marvel movies that come out of it no longer exist in DC Comics replaces Marvel. Marvel's characters may be adopted by different agencies, but don't become as big because of Marvel's failure. Now, what anything else? The toy business. The toy business is revolutionized by Star Wars. Kenner Toys makes action figures. These are the first real action figures to remain hits and not just be phased out a little bit after the movie's gone. These action figures remain hits for several years after the movie, and the only really, the only real time Star Wars action figures don't really catch on is for about 10 years from after Return of the Jedi stops to the mid-90s. Then the Star Wars toy industry reboots. Star Wars effects on the toy industry make action figures a lot better, bigger toys, and it really shifts the focus of the toy industry more through the children and their imaginations compared to what was before, where it was kind of one-off toys and whatnot. Kenner Toys becomes a hit, changing the action figure industry. Without this, Kenner may not have this chance if it was 10 years later, and the toy industry could revolutionize differently, differently not allowing for Star Wars to have the same effects it did. Or it could remain the same, and Star Wars still has the same huge effect on the toy industry. One other really cute thing I, fa I realized was Ronald Reagan's Star Wars Defense Initiative would not be called that. It would have to be called by some other different name because he was trying to come up with this cutesy little Star Wars name to call his Space Defense Initiative Star Wars. And uh, he would not be able to do this and tack on to this cultural phenomenon, Star Wars, if it was created 10 years later because it would not exist yet. So, essential, and then the last major thing is any other Star Wars movies come out will be delayed several years and the actors in the Star Wars movie would likely be different. So, Again, the effects. Marvel doesn't exist. Uh, major f blockbuster films would likely be different. Uh, the toy industry may not change as much or may be different than it is today. And Ronald Reagan's defense initiative would not be called Star Wars Defense Initiative. Uh, so, those are the effects of what would happen if Star Wars was created 10 years later in the late 1880s instead of in 1977. See you guys later. This is Star Wars Indiana with an episode of Star Wars Alternate History. Please comment below for future topics. Bye.